Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy, Entertaining America. This week on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a Venturist man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but no. Not yet. Kiflum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today, we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflum. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank time. you, yeah, thank yeah. you. But many say your new film has gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war is over! It's never over! Do you see yeah. him wipe out millions of Cambodians in Exploder? Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. Yeah. It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tards has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies! No suck, Tim! But soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You want to see it? Cool. Oh, you got and shot yourself. Way to go. He was finally beginning to live a normal life. Then, all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs <laughs> are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, 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 I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. Yeah, yeah, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there, and I should have killed them all. Yeah. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, oh, uh, um, Jack, Jack. Uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Jack, Jack. 
Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on, it's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals. No, no, you said no. It. Put the gun down. My balls? Please. I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on, they haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No. Come on, sniff no. them. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. D They're still big. Oh. God, they're huge, That's Jack. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Mom, mommy. Easy, hey, don't grab him like that. Oh, boy, I was kidding. What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, <laughs> I, I, I crapped myself. Take it easy. It's not even loaded. Oh, oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up, come on. Damn it, his brain is leaking. Help! Oh, there's only one thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches! Oh! That was Entertaining America, showing you why America is so respected culturally across the world. On the next Entertaining America, hear the new host, Laszlo, as he conducts a hard-hitting interview with top Vinewood starlet, Jenna Forbes. Hey, Jenna, thanks for being on the show. Uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time with your work, uh, especially the, <laughs> the last magazine you're in. Um, I gotta ask, are they real? What? Uh, nothing, I'm sorry. That was, that was, that was awful of me. Um, do you, do you want to sleep with me? Uh, no. Now, now you're sure about that? Yeah. Now I'm on the radio. Doesn't matter. Wow, that sounds entertaining. Don't miss the next Entertaining America with Laszlo. The most boring show with a brand new host. Entertaining America with Laszlo. Welcome to Entertaining America. This is Laszlo. <laughs> I gotta say it, pardon me, but uh, don't call it a comeback. I I've been here for years. <laughs> Just unemployed. But... I'm back, running the media. God, I love this West Coast vibe. Everybody here is so laid back and <laughs> lazy. I'm here with a man who gets paid to talk for a living. That's incredible. What a concept. Um, he's called a rapper. Oglock, how are you? Oglock? It's OG Loke. OG Loke. You hear me, player? Yes, of course. I hear you. You're only a few feet away, man. Listen, I'm a big fan. I, I love rap, I, I think. I mean, singing songs about yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. H how you living? Straight. Really? Are you really straight? What? You gonna question me? Dude, <laughs> it's cool. If somebody passes it to me, I don't ask questions. It's probably not laced anyway. <laughs> so, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Caller, you're on Entertaining America. I love the way you rap about the Louisiana Purchase. Straight! You know the French sold us Louisiana so we would have a place to show our tits. My point exactly. Yeah! We need more naked liberty. Exactly. Look, I I'm no rapper, even though I dress like one, but I think I could really get into, you know, getting hammered, singing about setting things on fire, shooting up funerals, ba da ba 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. You see, the Constitution was written on reefer by dudes with wooden teeth. You see, my clothing company, Low Down, home of the G, says this. I love reefer. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. Uh, at a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake-ass idiots who spend more time in drama school than they ever did pimping or hustling dope. Well, I assure you, OG Loke is the real thing. He's hated women all his life. He sold drugs to school children. He's murdered innocent people just for kicks. But he rhymes like an angel. And I assure you, it's all in a good cause. So either way, you can feel good about yourself listening to this music. Well, that was very informative. Big Smoke is doing a lot for the community, or, or to it. He sounds like a great guy. So, I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, you know, do the windmill? Hey, can you body pop? Come on, Laszlo. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh. Yo, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm into walking too, but I was thinking maybe we could have a break off, you know? I could spin on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it, fool. I warned you. I got the streets. I got a rep. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gang banging since I was three. Ice cold killer. <laughs> Excuse me? Gang banging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room while you're... Ugh. I'm ice cold, bitch. 
Don't make me dump on you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am gangster. I'm taking rap in a whole new direction. From now, it's about making words rhyme. And I'm going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep saying, home from the streets. Well, you know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? You got scraps, huh, bitch? You down? You mock ass bitch, punk, trick, buster, fool? Look, I don't, I don't know what you said, but uh, hey, this ought to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You's a buster, fool. Lucky I don't hang you out the window or turn you out, cause I'm also a pimp, including dudes. I'll pimp anything. You hear me? No, oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot women need a man? Because, I mean, it's kind of been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are you dissing my hoes, bitch? Uh, no, 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 dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. What, whatever that is. Dude, dude put, put the gun away. Don't diss my strap. I love your strap. You're a great guy. Look, I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s. Please, don't shoot me, homie. Relax, fool. No one's getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a cautionary tale about life on the streets, you know? <laughs> Only too well. <laughs> that was OG Loke. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight. Yeah. Good luck with the music. Hope you can make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. If WCTR wasn't holding me back, man. This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. So that's how you're going to be entertained. The most boring show with a brand new host, Entertaining America with Laszlo. Welcome to Entertaining America on WCTR with me, Laszlo. So, the media. You may hate us, but <laughs> i got to tell you, we hate ourselves more. And stop accusing us of being liberal. What a load of crap. This station is owned by Emmy Nation. I mean, have you ever heard anyone complain about guns on this station? Hosts are getting shot by them all the time, and it just gets glossed over. But <laughs> it also means I, I now have a job. If you're afraid of your mortality and never want to die, here's the solution. It's a man who's got all of America talking with his unique approach to spiritual matters. He's helped thousands, or so the press pack tells me. Chris Formage, founder of the Epsilon program, is here. Hello, Chris. Kiflam, brother, brother. <laughs> what does that mean, man? So, Epsilonism, is it a load of crap, or is it the future? Well, what do you think, Laszlo? I don't know. Well, I mean, I, I grow my own religion. <laughs> That's just why I don't know, as I'm kind of spaced out. I mean, but you guys run around chanting lip balm. It's Kiflam. Well, whatever. Both sound addictive to me. You know, only popular people are addicted to either. Let's go to the phones. Hey, Chris, Epsilon sounds awesome. But if you read the fossil records, hunter-gatherer dudes had it made. I mean, who wouldn't want to drag their women around by their hair? They smoked anything they could find. That's, like, so freaking cool. Then all the men would, like, disappear for days at a time, and you'd only hear bees shrieking in the distance. You know, I went to a museum once. That guy's got a point. Points are irrelevant, Laszlo. Let me ask you something. Do you want to be happy, Laszlo? What kind of question is that? Yes, obviously. Then why do you mock the happiness of others? Well, I mean, this is Vinewood. We're all supposed to be, like, psychotic and dog-eat-dog -dog and, you know, bang your best friend's wife. I mean, I'm with that last guy. We all have a primitive side there, Chris. I mean, you should have heard the music I used to like in the 80s. It was, it was hysterical. What's hysterical about being descended from a sponge and not knowing it? Huh? What's funny about being told that the world is millions of years old when, in fact, it's only 157 years old, fact, and its age does not change. There's nothing funny about that. It's just weird. You know, that voice of yours, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I can believe anything you say. My time has come, Laszlo. And so has yours, if if you let it. Um, well, you know, that, that sounds good to me. Hey, wait. Are you going to try to sign me up for the military? That happened once before. I mean, I'm into killing people, and I can say I'm crying when I'm done killing. And then there's Listen, my friend. You can mock, but I know the truth about you. I can see past your jokes into that scared little boy beneath. You, you my friend, like a lot of other people, are being lied to. I totally agree with you, finally. Inversion therapy. I owe my mom a huge apology. <laughs> Listen, pick a new set of lies. Mine are better. Let me ask you something. When did you last get laid, Laszlo? 
<laughs> Speaking of lies. Wait, look, I'm not an egg. I got laid this morning by twins. Whoa. They each laid an egg, and I formed out of them. <laughs> what are you talking about? It, great, a horny cult leader with a breakfast fixation. I love it. You know, I'm thinking of a cult centered around grits. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, there already is one, and it's called the South. <laughs> For the last time, this is not a cult, Laszlo. It's a fellowship of like-minded adults who tithe money in exchange for salvation and merit badges. Every single thing we do is voluntary, including the swinging and making things up. Why is this whole town obsessed with swinging? Oh, let's go to the phones. Yeah, hey, Laszlo, love the show, man. Hey, I really love to make out with hot chicks in church. Perfect. Join us. We've put a price on salvation, and it's a price worth paying, believe me. Look, if you crave sexual conquest, family betrayal, class warfare, and really feeling like you are a part of something, then just do it. Just do it. It's so easy. Join the Epsilon Group. Uh, Chris, stop trying to recruit people. I mean, you even say you just make this stuff up. Let's go to the phones. La Laszlo? Ah, oh, Darius Fontaine, look, I told you to leave me alone. Look, look, it was an unfortunate incident that happened to your mother, but I was quite clear. Grandmother, not mother. It's your fault it doesn't work. I nearly went to prison, man. What you told me to do is illegal in most states. Whatever. Look, Chris Formage is a liar and a cheat. He made it up. It doesn't help anyone apart from him. The fact is people need to face their fears. Remember, I always say that. Face your fears. Don't run away. Darius Fontaine can kiss my ass. Oh, you'd, you'd like that? Would, would you like that? I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. Because you are the devil. People aren't really afraid, you know. Yet you make them kill their families. Fears have to be faced! That's what I always say. Just ask Laszlo. Hey, don't bring me into this ruckus, Darius. This is between you two wackos. I mean, and you stay away from me, Darius. I've got a restraining order, dude. Laszlo. The only way that you can really communicate with your ancestors is to pay someone like me. Just a second. I want you to try something. Touch my cane. This whole town, man. I, I think you've seen too many movies, dude. You can be happy. Listen, join us. Be famous. Find your true self. Have a breast, nose surgery, whatever you want. Lie with nine new partners a week. It explains everything. If there are no women, make them. From sand, from garbage, out of thin air. The rich cry too, Laszlo. Well, that's an interesting theory that sounds like it was formulated with pharmaceuticals. But, you know, I would like to find about being rich and crying, because right now I'm just poor and crying. But this is the West Coast, you know. I'm only into lesbians, man. It's destiny. Vinewood only lets you down. In the Epsilon program, there are no series finales. It goes on and on and on. We don't abandon you. Ah, uh, well, we're going to have to abandon this show. Great, my first show and a dude nearly kills me. Now I'm being harassed by a former sociology professor and an alcoholic turned self-deifying cultist. Please, i got to get back to the East Coast. This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo on WCTR. Culturally, this country is flatlining. Now you know why.